Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Exceeding Shadows Video Game Collection, but this time it's going to be a Halloween special. It's all random games from all my systems. Some are new to you because you have not seen it. Some aren't, or some are new games from the console I had before, which I've shown before. So, or handhelds. So this is going to be a Halloween special. Just by looking at a couple of them, if you can tell, they are Halloween related stuff. So, <laughs> let's get this started. Alright, so next, or next, first, we got Ghostbusters from the NES. I don't know when it was made, probably like around the 89, 80s, something like that, I don't know. Next we got, uh, The Simpsons, Bart vs. The Space Mutants. Uh, it's Halloween related because of The Space Mutants and how you have to take them down. That's about all I can really think of, so. Metroid, on the NES, uh, people, I guess, considered this a little bit back then, a, a kind of scary, somewhat kind of game. It wasn't real. It wasn't uh, rated back then. But I guess it could be kind of scary to some, or just kind of frightening in how some parts is. Next, we got Kid Icarus. Uh, in that game, it's basically a angel taking down demons. So it's kind of that's how it is, sort of. I gotta say that. Next, we got is Killer Instinct. It's mostly a fighting game, but it's mostly uh, Halloween kind of fighting games. I gotta say that. Next we got is uh oh Taz in Escape from Mars. That game um the only thing I could think of as Halloween related was uh it's Mars. Uh, if I kept saying just because it's Halloween related, I could have put in there Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that too in this in this collection. But only the things that mostly has the appearance of the whole entire game. So, yeah, I like Taz and Escape from Mars. And this out, Ma Ma what's his name? Marvin? Marvin the Alien. Or Martian, I bet. Then we got up uh, Rampage 2, Universal Tour. It's only Halloween related because it's uh, monsters taking down, you know, uh, the world. <laughs> um, we got Scooby Doo, Classic Creep Creepers. I call it Classic Cheaper Creepers because that sounds better. And, you know, scooby is always Halloween related no matter what. So, you know why. Next, uh, I guess it kind of be Halloween related. And if you heard my dog bark, I don't know why. Probably it's trick-or-treating time. I don't know why. It won't even be trick-or-treating. It's only like 3 o'clock. So, anyway, uh, we got Halo Combat Evoluted, the first one. Not the anniversary that's coming out or is coming out or whatever the heck. So, this is the first one, uh, game of the year. And Halo 2. I, uh, the only way it can be Halloween related is because of the elites and how everything was new about aliens and kind of that kind of stuff. That's the only way. And next, we got Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oogie's Revenge on the Xbox. I don't know if it's on any other system, but I know it's on the Xbox. And, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, basically Halloween with Christmas combined. You know how it is. Well, I think you guys know how it is, but whatever. Next, we got Shadow the Hedgehog. Basically, that whole game is kind of scary. Not scary, like, oh my god, what's going to happen next? Like that kind of way, but scary and like aliens, kind of Halloweenish looking kind of types. So, it looks really good. Uh, next, we got it's Metroid Prime with the Metroid 2 Prime uh, Echoes bonus disc, but I don't have the original game. Um, Metroid Prime. Mostly aliens and how it is and how the type of feature it is. It's all that kind of aliens, kind of Halloween stuff. So, next we got another kind of monster game. We got Godzilla, destroy all monsters in melee. Uh, you know, monsters destroying places and killing other monsters. Kind of scary. So, not scary, scary, but you know what I mean. Pokemon XD, Gal of Darkness. Now, how is this scary? Just from like one thing. I, I just had to put it in there. Pokemon XC Gala Darkness, because it's Shadow Logia, it was kind of scary, uh, I guess, or pretty badass looking. It was really awesome how to get that, and then some of the game is actually kind of scary itself, because of Halloween uh, base related stuff. Uh, it's always lightning and rain and stuff like that in there, so, bestseller. We got Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. The whole game is basically a Halloween kind of a Twilight Realm thing going on, like Link to the Past, but... Somewhat different. And, you know, you turn into a wolf. How scary can that be? We got Luigi's Mansion. You know how this game is. Your brother is captured in the mansion that he somewhat, somehow won. 
which now Luigi has to save him from millions and millions of ghosts. <laughs> Fun game, I gotta say that. So, you know, Halloween-related ghosts, basically, you know, it's Halloween. We got House of the Dead 2. I don't have one, never seen it. I think it's only on the Sega Saturn, but I don't have one, so... House of the Dead 2, you kill zombies uh, in, like, an arcade kind of style, not, like, Nazi zombies, like in Call of Duty, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Knights, uh, Into Dreams. It's it's supposed to be a Halloween kind of base sto story kind of game, but it wasn't frightening, frightening. It wasn't, like, Halloween as much. It was mostly, like, Carnival Halloween. Like, Circus. It's not, like, you know, Circus is scary and all, but it's like that. And here is uh, Knights Journey, in, uh, Journey of Dreams. Well, I say Journey Into Dreams. Uh, it's basically, I don't know if it's the sequel to it, because I, honestly, like I said, I don't have a Sega Saturn, so I never actually played the sample, it's a demo, so, uh, you know how it is, it's like, Halloween kind of related stuff, that's all I can really say. Your arrival looks Halloweenish. trust me, not joking, and, uh, it's, I can't say the game is all that fun, but it still gets me trying. Next we got is Call of Duty Black Ops. The game is not scary at all. The only thing that is kind of scary, I guess, it's the zo Nazi zombies. And that's actually what a bunch of people play the game for. That's about it. Online and Nazi zombies. That's about it. That's the only way how it's Halloween related. Uh, we got Rampage, Total Destruction. You know how it is. It's scary games. No. It's, what, why don't you be scared of a monster destroying a town? Seriously. I would be. And it has monsters that looks kind of scary. Too many. There's only three right there, but that's the main three. Next we got is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. This time you fight your darker self, which you have not seen since, like, I think, Metroid Zero Mission. Or Fusion or something. Uh, Metroid Prime 3. Uh, you fight Dark Samus and stuff like that. And, you know, scary kind of alien stuff going on again. So, Sonic Unleashed. Uh can say this game came out around last year's uh, Halloween. And if you're hearing my dog, just ignore it. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I guess it could be scary in some ways because how he is, but the game is not actually all that good. But I do consider it breeding pretty good, just in the Sonic levels, not the Werehog levels. Kind of hate them. But whatever. Next we got is Sonic and the Black Knight. This game is not as scary. The only way I can think of it was it was Halloween related because of the Black Knight. Uh, but mostly that's how the whole game is. It's kind of like Camelot. Uh, Camelot, that's Realm Table, stuff like that. Next we got is Disney's Epic Mickey. The whole game is kind of a scary kind of a environment with all paint and everything looks pretty dark. It's not the game's like all dark. You can't tell what's going on, but dark like in a scary way. So all I could really say, it's it's really actually kind of fun. Uh, I'm pretty actually sad I don't have, I have not beaten it. That's I'm pretty sad of it because I, I'm not stuck. I just stopped for I don't know what reason. Uh, I was really close to beating the game so I would know. I don't have the guidebook, but I saw the guidebook at a GameStop and I was really close to it. I don't know why I stopped, but it just happens. I don't know why. It's a really good game. I heard there's going to be an Epic Mickey 2, but not as much, sure. But it's still a good game, let you guys know. Next we got is Prototype. Basically, it's a guy that, um, I forgot his name for some reason. Um, I guess he could turn into all these kinds of forms of, uh, creatures. And, of course, you have to take down creatures. <laughs> That's aliens, kind of, locust-looking kind of stuff. Now, I only see locust because of the next game, which a bunch of people are probably going to be excited for. So let's go into the next game anyway. We got Gears of War. Gears of War. It's actually... I'm sorry, my dog is still barking. I don't know why she's barking. Sorry. I'm getting kind of mad at my dog. It's Halloween, Ginger. If you're going to bark all day, just go trick-or-treating. <laughs> no. Um, uh, okay. So Gears of War. Uh, what can I say? Humans fighting aliens. That's called locusts. It's really badass. Uh, a bunch of parts are scary in how to play. Like, like, scary, like, experience. Like, oh, my God, never played this game before. And like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? That's that's pretty awesome. I got to like... Uh, my dog is still barking. Okay. Next, it's up. 
You can't tell just by the cover, but maybe you can. It's Halo 3. Oh my god! Why is my dog barking? Ginger! Dang! First time I have to say that on the recording ever. And it's Halloween, Ginger. Sorry, really, really mad at my dog. I'm gonna shut her up once the video's over. Not in a bad way. I pick her up and say what happens. Or something. Halo 3, it's uh, the, the, the trilogy from the Halo 1 and 2 I showed a little bit earlier. Same stuff, aliens, kind of scary stuff. Okay, so Gears of War 2, locusts and aliens and <laughs> all that kind of scary stuff. Same kind of stuff like I said from number 1. Except it's kind of much better. Uh, people still play this online, even though number 3 is out. And uh, I gotta say, it's a really good game. I played it, like, I think, three times. So, not at three times, like, every time I play it in, just the story mode itself. Uh, Halo 3 ODST. It's the sequel to Halo 3. Uh, ODST, you know, aliens and stuff like that. That's all I can say. Uh, but, you know, it always has those scary kind of feelings or awesome feelings. That's kind of scary. But you know what I mean. So next we got is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. The game basically explains itself. It's You could play two ways, good or bad. But no matter what it does... You still have to play a certain kind of way. Apparently, uh, Venom infected a bunch of people with, like, uh, Venom, you know, Venom disease or whatever. And, you know, you have friends trying to help you out, and then sometimes you have to take down your friends. Stuff like that. So, I consider this game kind of scary, like in a Halloween kind of way, but it's really awesome. And if you ever play this game, you understand why, so it's really cool. Next, we got is the last game from the trilogy of Gears of War, which is Gears of War 3. Came out like a month ago, I guess. Uh, yeah, about a month, I guess. Well, not month. Not actually a month. Well, yeah, let's go with a month. Let's just say a month. Uh, you know, last game, I can't say what happens because people die. They die. Everything dies. Not every single thing, but this game is actually one of the saddest games next to number two. Don't want to spoil the series if you never played it. Really good series. Uh, you know, Locust, Aliens, End of the World stuff. Kind of scary, I guess. Hel uh, Halo Reach. I would say Halloween Reach. Yeah, Halloween Reach is it. I don't know. And this game, you know, that's another game from the Halo series, which I can't say it's a trilogy because it's not in the trilogy anymore. It's like before the trilogy somehow. I know how, but I don't want to say it. So, you know, same stuff. <laughs> Next, we got is a couple games I kind of left out from the beginning. I don't know why. Next, first, we got is from the Sega CD, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, I My Sega CD, when I got it, I ne it never worked. I never tried it out, but I do know it's going to be scary because of the words Dracula, and I've seen the back of it, and just how the cover it is, it's going to be Halloween. So, Next, I got is a, you know, Halloween kind of way with Mickey on it. We got Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Uh, this game, um, I have played it. It's basically off with, uh, Halloween kinds of stuff, with like all kinds of things. It's kind of like a castle from, like, Castlevania, but, uh, nothing like that. So, it's kind of hard to explain. Next, we got, it's the sequel to that game, uh, World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Same kind of stuff, except it's kind of a genie kind of way, and you more use, you use magic even more than the first game, so... The last couple of games. Ah, sorry, my back kind of hurts. Hate working all the time. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon: Explorers of Darkness. I only consider this game scary because parts of the dungeons, and actually this version, is scary. Actually, and a bunch of Pokemon that's mostly scary. It's on the cover itself. Has scary kind of looking Pokemon. Uh, you know, explorers with darkness, exploring darkness, stuff like that. I don't know. It's not exactly like that, but the storyline's Really good. Um, I've only played the game twice. Yeah, only played the game twice. Like, it sounds like it's a lot or not. But it's really good. It's really awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. So, it'll be pretty cool. In the last three games, it's Metroid all together. Uh, we got Metroid 2, Return of Samus, which is the sequel to Metroid 1 on the NAS, which I just showed off, like, in the beginning of the video. We got Metroid Zero Mission, which is when you first, I believe, uh, find Dark Samus, and Metroid Prime Hunters is actually nothing to do with the Metroid series, really. 
It's just like a Colosseum battle with all different kinds of aliens you've never seen before. But it does go in with Metroid Prime 3, so I guess it kind of does. And I guess that's all I can really say about this Halloween special. I'm sorry it wasn't really as good. Dog kept interrupting. Bunch of Halloween games. Not all much related, but it's still pretty good. I'm, this is all I got for Halloween. Uh, so I was tuning into whatever I got next for Halloween specials. Because it's Halloween today. I'm recording it. And please like the video. Ask friends, subscribe to your friends, favorite it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. See you guys till then.